And so real quick, I want to talk about book bans and their effectiveness. I want to talk about real world results and what we can expect in the coming months. So a week ago today, Springfield News later reported that Nixa a school board had voted to ban two out of the 16 books that obviously the ultra mega homophobic and potentially transphobic parents brought before the school board. So two out of those 16 books, an outright ban. Can you believe it? Well, um, a third book was voted to be restricted, meaning, of course, that students could only check it out with parental permission. And, of course, it would not be available for easy access on the shelves in the school's library. And one of the books that was banned, a Fun Home, a family tragic comic, has been checked out a grand total of 12 times. 12 times in the past three years. Now, this literary piece itself, the school board unanimously voted to remove. The other two books on this list that have only been checked out two times in that same past three years. Now, before 2021, Springfield News Leader reports that Nixa Public Schools had only seen one formal complaint against any book in the past 15 years. Yikes. Um, so just, just a week before this decision by the Nixa Public School Board, um, 10 high school students in Nixa staged a silent protest. So this included such dangerous activities as holding up copies of some of the 16 books that parents originally had wanted to ban. You know, just holding them. You know, I, I guess if reading them is too much, then surely you could consider that, that holding the books is a, a gateway to the filth and the fury of, of this literature, right? Well, thank God there's a little common sense left in the world. So, so check this out here. Let me see if I can pull this up. This is from the Missouri ACLU. Uh, ACLU issued a formal demand of preservation to Nixa Public Schools requiring the immediate intervention to preserve all tangible and electronic evidence and the suspension of routine destruction of documents that relate to the review and removal of books and other written materials. Uh, American Civil Liberties Union of Missouri has issued a formal demand of preservation in Nixa schools requiring immediate intervention to preserve all tangible. We just read that. Um, during a school board meeting held on the 12th of May, the school board voted to remove or restrict access to three books uh, from Nixa school libraries. Two books were removed, Fun Home, Family Tragic Comedy, All Boys Aren't Blue, A Memoir Manifesto, and the book that was restricted, Homegoing, uh, were authored by uh, non-white and LGBTQ plus authors. Nixa Public Schools previously restricted several other books featuring minority viewpoints. The First Amendment not only protects our rights to express and share ideas, it also protects students' rights to access and receive information, uh, said uh, Jillian Wilcox, Deputy uh, Director of Litigation at the ACLU of Missouri. It's especially concerning that the recent coordinated book bans largely focus on authors of racial or sexual minority communities. The ACLU of Missouri will always stand up for students and teachers' First Amendment rights, including their right to talk and learn about race and gender in schools. Citizens with a complaint against Nixa public schools related to potential violation of their rights may notify the ACLU of Missouri. Check it on the website there. So, um... Yeah, thank God there's still a little bit of common sense uh, left in the world here. So the ACLU telling Nixa schools to preserve their evidence over the upcoming potential lawsuit that they may face as a direct result of their, you know, book bans. Um, boy, I guess welcome, welcome to the consequences of your own actions, folks. Um, so the ACLU just in the nick of time, right? Um, but But here's the thing. The ultra mega homophobic, transphobic, racist, amosexual book club isn't just going after your kids. Oh no, oh no. Uh, now they're expanding, and and with veracity, 
Um, take take a look at this. Literally caught this just just moments ago. Um, Barnes and Noble being sued in Virginia Beach over gender queer uh, court of mist and fury. Last week, Virginia Beach uh, schools voted to remove gender queer uh, from shelves. It came after a school board member, Victoria Manning, complained about it and several other books within the schools. After the initial review of the book and several others, Manning appealed of the decision made to keep the book, and after reconsideration, the book was pulled. Now a Virginia lawmaker is stepping in to take the decision further. He's filing a suit against the school and against Barnes & Noble in Virginia Beach. Uh, Virginia Beach attorney and, and state delegate uh, Tim Anderson posted on Facebook that he and his client, Tommy Altman, a right-wing Republican running for Congress in the district uh, housing Virginia Beach, uh, saw the Virginia Beach Circuit Court uh, find probable cause that the books Gender Queer and A Court of Mist and, Fi and Fury are obscene uh, to unrestricted viewing by minors. Boy, um, this this sounds like a tale of, of tale of two Eric Schmitz here, doesn't it? Um... Altman has now directed Anderson to pursue litigation against Barnes & Noble for making the material available to minors. My client, Tommy Altman, has now directed my office to seek a restraining order against Barnes & Noble and Virginia Beach Schools to enjoin them from selling or loaning books to minors, these books to minors, without parental consent, reads Anderson's post. No longer is this about the rights of students to access books, it's now about the rights of private businesses to sell books. And this is from uh, BookRiot.com, I uh, posted this article. Um... It's now the private right of businesses to sell books. Anderson suggests that this is a new avenue for parents to uh, to fight. We're in a major fight. Uh, suits like this can be filed all over Virginia. There are dozens of books, hundreds of schools, he said. Alongside his message, Anderson posted screenshots from both books and pursuant to restraining orders. Because the best way to, uh, you know, again, these books in Nixa had been checked out. Um, well, the, mm, we want to make sure that uh, folks don't uh, that the kids don't have access to this. So um, something that the kids weren't really paying attention to. Let's let's put it in the in the limelight here, right? Um, responses to Anderson's announcements from uh, followers encourage such action and suggest this won't be the end. Several mentioned fighting such fights against obscene materials for months and that children should not be exposed to such obscene books. Still more comments applaud this brave move and see it as a way forward in book banning outside of Virginia. Apparently one Facebook user uh, writes, Ooh, Barnes & Noble was part of this, supplying child porn novels. Interesting that this is all going on and no arrest. Uh, thy, thy seem to be pushing things to see how far they can uh, go with it. Neither book fits the definition of obscene, and neither book is pornography. Barnes & Noble has yet to respond to the legal action taken. As a private business, they're not only allowed to sell books, uh, or allowed to sell what they, what they wish to sell, but they're under no obligation by anyone to move materials out of their facilities. Further, no private businesses, like the bookseller, would simply supply books to the school district. Right-wing groups are pushing a narrative that suggests public schools are at the epicenter of indoctrination, forcing gender and sexuality onto young people, starting in kindergarten. Lawsuits like these, uh, lawsuits like this further fuel misinformation campaigns uh, by these groups. Virginia has been a hotbed of book challenges in the last year, thanks in part to the rhetoric and campaigning against books and critical race theory um, by Governor Glenn Youngkin. Good man, good man. Uh, the governor, as uh, well as Altman, are Trump supporters, and Anderson's announcement is more than uh, tacit approval of Altman's run for Congress. Anderson has made uh, books a big part of his social media strategy and has riled up his base through it. Uh, though his lawsuit includes only two books, Manning said uh, some uh, same school board member uh, who triggered the removal of gender queer has her sights on a Saga by Brian Vaughn next. She's been at the forefront of book challenges in Virginia Beach since the school year began, challenging the bluest eye for being too racy despite never reading the book. Um, and, and, boy, wouldn't that help, you think? Um, I don't know that it would. Um, so look, uh, parents and folks without kids, uh, keep this in mind. This whole thing, this whole thing. Started by keeping middle school and high school students from having access to literature 
in public schools and now they're going after private businesses isn't this the the, the gay way the, the same as the gay wedding cake party um isn't this the party of small government isn't this the party of 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 free speech so from from gay wedding cakes to my body my choice to the constant barrage against small businesses i mean this is the stark and frightening reality and a clear look at what the future of the ultra mega homophobic transphobic racist ammo sexual swingers party has to offer for us um if this doesn't keep you up at night i don't know what will I want to thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate the people who are following me on Twitter at uh, ChainsawCCC. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on these and other issues. If you enjoy what we're doing here in rural Missouri and want to support independent progressive media from the hills and wilderness of the Ozarks, consider going to patreon.com slash ChainsawCCC and becoming a Patreon supporter. Uh, you can support independent media for as little as $3 per month. That's half the cost of a loaded tea per month. Thank you again, and we'll catch you on the flippy fling flong. Rock and roll.